Hi, I'm your host, Marsha Florence with Just Ask. Today's show, ladies and gentlemen, is the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, the Michigan chapter. Hurry back and join us. Hi, I'm your host, Marsha Florence with Just Ask. Today's show, ladies and gentlemen, is the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, the Michigan chapter. And we have with us Vice President herself, Rose Taylor, and Cheryl Rothy, Marketing and Development Specialist. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Thank all you. All right, all right. Now, Rose Taylor, we've had a chance to talk to you before, and it's been a while, and we had a couple of phone calls and emails to ask for a representative like yourself to come back and tell us about the MS Society, the Michigan chapter. Well, at the Michigan chapter of the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, we are so honored to be a part of a national organization that's all about helping people with MS. Um, our goal is to end MS now and to change the lives of people with MS by offering a variety of programs and services, by um, working on fundraising events, whatever we can do to raise dollars to end the disease. Okay, now overall, what is MS? MS is an unpredictable, often disabling disease of the central nervous system that interrupts the flow of messages from the brain to the rest of the body. It impacts um, far more women than men. Most people are diagnosed between the ages of 20 and 50. And um, there's about 2.5 million people in the world with multiple sclerosis. Okay, okay. all right. Now, uh, Cheryl Rothy, we don't want to leave you out. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your role as the marketing development. Well, I'm the marketing development specialist for the Michigan chapter, and I'm also one of the over 18,000 people in Michigan living with MS. I'm one of okay. the MS clients for the society. Okay, okay. So for the marketing development part, do you actually just what encourage people to or organizations to join you guys? What do you do? Big part of my of my job is team recruitment and working with teams on their fundraising. And I also do a lot with social media, chapters Facebook page, Twitter page, and um, our MS leadership class program and also MS Awareness Week programs. So it's a lot of, of awareness. Okay. Now, can either one of you ladies, I mean, I don't know for sure, but one of you ladies can answer the question, what are the symptoms of MS? Well, I'll start off and let Ms. Cheryl jump in. Um, the symptoms vary from one person to the next. For instance, um, somebody may have some numbness and some tingling or some vision issues. Um, and also, I mean, it, it could go from just those those well, what people will call rather minor mm -hmm. um, symptoms as opposed to somebody that goes that's end up, that ends up in a wheelchair or um, is per paralyzed. So there's quite a, a variety in terms of um, the way the disease impacts that person's life. Okay, okay. So Cheryl, can you give us some insight about some of the symptoms you may well, have? Sure, sure. I was diagnosed in 1996, and the symptoms for me were difficulty speaking, uh, very slow, it was very slurred uh, speech. The right side of my face was numb and my right hand um, was numb. Okay. Fine motor skills were just gone okay. from So when hand. you were diagnosed, did they automatically look for that or did it take a while? Because a lot of the side, the symptoms in self are related to other conditions as well. And that tingling in, the numbness and tingling in the, in the fingertips, mm -hmm. uh, the blurred vision, mm -hmm. sometimes the slurred, uh, blurred speech. So did they mm -hmm. automatically just go mm -hmm. to that and test for it or? Was it a period of time? It was, it was through the process of, of the testing. Initially, they thought I had a stroke, and, but through the course of the tests, and when the results came back from the MRI, mm -hmm. there were lesions on my brain that were indicative of the symptoms that I was having. And, and I was diagnosed very quickly, so I'm very fortunate, okay. because many people can go years without okay. a correct diagnosis. And you were diagnosed in 96? 1996, oh. I was 30 years old. Okay, great, you look yeah. great. Really. Thank you, Okay. feel good. Uh, that's good too, that's <laughs> I feel good and look great, okay. Thank you. I mean, because a lot of times certain things happen when you're first diagnosed with a condition, you already know something's going on physically mm -hmm. or mentally, but you can't put your finger on it. Right. So you go to a physician and say, check me out. They mm -hmm. check you out, 
and all of a sudden your whole world changes, mm -hmm. okay, within a matter of days, weeks, and months. So mm -hmm. was that your, was that the way it went for you, Cheryl? It, it was a big shock. It, it was just truly a big shock. Um, but what I did first was I went to the National MS Society, you know, to find out more information about what was going on, what's the course of the disease, and, you know, because of all the hard work that we've done at um, the MS Society with fundraising and advances in research, when I was diagnosed, there was only one disease-modifying drug, and it okay. wasn't even recommended that you go on it at that particular time, at the onset. Mm -hmm. So here we are, you know, 18, 19 years later from my diagnosis, and now we have 12 disease-modifying wow. drugs to choose from, and a couple of them are now oral medications. Okay. Um, I do a three-time-a-week um, injection okay. is what I do. Mm -hmm. So at, at some point, when you're able to, you can do it yourself. You can yes. actually medicate. You, you get the prescription, and you can medicate yes. yourself. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's no necessarily mm -hmm. no in hospitalization. Not when it comes to the disease modifying drugs, but right. It depends on what what's going on with yourself. Right. Okay. So right. do you think because you're able to medicate yourself at this point mm -hmm. that you slowed down the process? I sure hope so. Okay. I well, think if, so. If it's since 96, I think so. I think you did. <laughs> yeah. I think so. I really think you did. If it's been since '96, okay? okay. Yeah, I started. I started doing the disease modifying therapy about eight years ago. Okay. It was about eight years ago. Yeah. Okay. All right. What yeah. about physical exercise? Um, I don't do enough. <laughs> but you do some. Yeah, some. Okay. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I just participated in our bike and mess event uh, the end of September. Mm -hmm. 30 miles. Okay. I did it. <laughs> That's great. Well, you know, because, Rose, um, I know when we had you on before, there was a, another component that talked about exercise. Um, right. So is that still in place? You know, exercise is a, a key importance? Absolutely. That is certainly something that the MS Society encourages people with MS to do. Um, our wellness programming is definitely on the rise nationwide where the National MS Society is actually spending lots of dollars. We've invested um, research funds into um, research into different physical activities like the yoga, like yoga, aquatics, mm -hmm. um, and you know, <coughs> even nutritional things to keep people well. So we encourage people to participate mm -hmm. like Cheryl did in a, mm -hmm. I don't know about, that everybody can handle a 30 mile bike right. thon that's pretty cool stuff. 30 miles? <laughs> 30 miles. Next year yeah. I'll do 50. I'm trying to figure out how to get 10 <laughs> in, but okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, 20 years ago I could have did it, but right. like 20 years later I'm like, do you really think, Marsha? Okay. But that, but that was great. That's great, you know, yes. if you were capable of just yep. being involved in, mm -hmm. hey, riding that bike, whether it was one to two, you did a wonderful job. Thank you. And, and Marsha, can I just say that one of the things that, that we do as an organization, it but you know, when I say we encourage people to participate in physical activities, that's one of the services that we offer through the National MS Society if people with MS in Michigan want to participate in a yoga class or uh, an aquatics class mm -hmm. or even um, a Tai Chi class, then if they find out about a class being offered in the community mm -hmm. that welcomes people with disabilities or people with chronic conditions, then we would certainly um, help them to pay for it. That's great. That's yeah, great. That's one of the things. So we're we going to end on that good note. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to come back with some more good, well, helpful information about MS, uh, the Michigan chapter. We'll be right back. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. That's a line of desks more than four miles long. We can keep students in school. Visit boostup.org and take the first step. That's low, that's the low. average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. <laughs> Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. And welcome back to the show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just now joining us, you know how I am. I always got to tell you the do's and don'ts around here. That means the do is justastalkshow.org. Drop us a line. Uh, Twitter, Just As Talk Show. Hashtag, all that good stuff. Because, see, while you're sitting here listening to uh, Rose Taylor and Cheryl Ro Rothy, you want to learn something about MS, there's some other conditions you want to know about, too. So why don't you give us a call, 1-800-323-5336. 1-800-323-5336 and say, Marsha, it's a show idea I have in my head and I just want to see if you can, you know, 
produce it for us. So if you have something you want to talk about that's medically related, uh, cooking show-wise, things like that, give us a call, drop me an email, any way you want to. All our information is on our website as well as you'll see it at the, the bottom of the show. Oh, okay, ladies, had to tell people that. A lot of people want to know, you know, when they see the guests here, how mm -hmm. to get in contact with you. So I know somebody's got a, what, 1-800 number? Mm -hmm. Yes. And what would that number be? 1-800-FIGHT-MS. 1-800-FIGHT-MS, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a short way to tell us, Sharon. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sharon didn't tell you the number she said was 1-800-FIGHT-MS. So, so you, at the bottom of your screen, you'll see 1-800-FIGHT-MS Fight -MS. and what the numbers mean, what the letters mean. Okay, okay. Rose can tell you what the letters are. That was pretty good there. Oh, okay, and that was not rehearsed. Okay, okay. All right, ladies, back to the subject at hand. Mm. Tell us, either one of you, some uh, available resources and, you know, services that a person can receive. Well, um, we are, you know, we like to tell people <clears throat> that people can access the National MS Society for services support 24-7. Um, so we have via our website. Uh, which is National Multiple Sclerosis Society, um, you know, via the website, they can connect with all kinds of information, not just for people with MS, but also, um, you know, family members, professionals. There are all kinds of professional resources that a nurse, that a, that a physical therapist mm -hmm. can access through our website and even help them, um, would allow them to get CEUs. Okay. But What's people, a CEU? Um, it's like a continuing education credit, okay. unit of okay. credit. Um, for them to, con you know, it helps them with their education. But um, people with MS, they can connect to um, programs that we have, like support groups and things like that, to some of the resources that are available via our um, national website. There's a program called MS Connection mm -hmm. um, that is, is sort of like an online support group. Cheryl, okay. would you like mm -hmm. to talk more about msconnection.com? Mm -hmm. Yeah, msconnection.com is, um, is, a, is a portal Okay. for people with MS and, and their families to obtain information, share information f from with each other. Um, there's a lot of blog information from, you know, doctors and nurses, and, uh, and, it, and it's a nice, safe environment. It's okay. a safe environment. It's a closed group, and you share as much as you would like to share. Well, you know, group. a lot of times people are not sure where to go and right. who to talk to. So on the support group level, do they, you guys have monthly or bi-weekly meetings that people can go to, or is it all by Internet? Well, I can tell you more about the support groups. Certainly, they're offered um, chapter-wide throughout the whole state. Mm -hmm. And actually, you can find support groups across the country. Um, but here in Michigan, when they call that 800 number, we would, we would be happy to send them the list of all the different support groups that meet in. And basically, people want to meet in their own backyard. Okay. So like in Metro Detroit, there's a group in Livonia. There's a group in okay. um, Oakland County. So they're around. Mm -hmm. But um, even through the support groups, they get great information because we share. Sometimes they do educational programs um, that are like a video yeah. and bring in speakers and things Is like that. Is there any assistance in medication waivers or anything like that? When it comes to, um, you mean for the cost like, of the, the drugs? Right, like low-income person with, with MS and they really can't afford it. So is there any assistance in that matter? Well, um, yes, the drug companies all offer okay. financial assistance. Every yeah. one of the mm -hmm. drug companies, particularly the disease-modifying drugs, which are like $12,000 or $26,000 mm -hmm. a month because wow. they vary. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if a person doesn't have insurance, they're, they actually right. they can access all of them. And, you know, mm -hmm. and I think really that's one of the downfalls about uh, when you first encounter a health crisis that you don't have insurance or you're that very little, the one that doesn't apply to this service, this service, this service. Mm -hmm. And so you're already in pain. You're already suffering in your own way. And then somebody says, oh, we don't take that insurance or it doesn't cover the cost of this medication. Right. And a lot of people don't know that certain agencies like yourselves will assist you in whatever way you can mm -hmm. to help modify or waiver or whatever the terms are to assist mm -hmm. you in getting some of the things that you need. Mm -hmm. Can I just share mm -hmm. that um, even though we don't help, the National MS Society doesn't directly help with the cost of medications, we can help with a number of other things. For instance, MS um, does indeed, for most people, um, they, ha they suffer from heat fatigue. 
uh, and um, you know the hot weather really disturbs folks. So what we do is we can offer window air conditionings for people um, that need them. We also can help people with vehicle hand controls to help them continue to drive a car when they think, well, you know, I, my feet don't operate that good. Okay. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be driving, but they would have to go through classes. But also, um, but that's, a, that's a great service right there. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. They need to call about our fine. If people are listening that have not called the MS Society and checked out the financial assistance program that is available. There's a, there's a whole list of things that we can help, like computers mm -hmm. and assistive technology. So we really encourage people to pick up the phone that's, that's great. and yeah. access us. That is, that is great. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, just have you ladies sit here and tell me that somebody, when the show airs, is going to definitely call you up at the... What is it? One eight hundred fight One eight hundred fight. You got to okay. <laughs> Somebody's gonna call one eight hundred fight MS. Okay, and say I heard what you said. So and that's a good thing though because if you're if you're a person who's got a condition and you say my life has just stopped in front of me, you don't know that there are resources mm -hmm. out there that you can utilize. Okay, and so hearing what you ladies have just told us is an eye opener. Okay, if I, if I had MS and I could work from home, I had a job and they said, well, you can work at home, but Maybe I can get the computer, you know, Absolutely. and mm -hmm. I can work from home, mm -hmm. okay? If I'm a low-income person and all I need is air conditioning to keep me cool, mm -hmm. maybe I can get that air conditioner, sure. you know? So, mm -hmm. and that's something people should be aware of, but they don't know it until now, because mm -hmm. we just asked, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but it's true, it's true. So tell us, now, what happens with the family? Any support services for the family? Absolutely. There are caregivers. There's support for caregivers, um, of people with MS. And in many instances, let's say, for instance, um, a family member is having difficulty with financial um, mm -hmm. issues in the home, and they can't afford the cost of a, a caregiver. Uh, and I'm not saying that MS Society has, you know, millions and Bolo. millions of dollars, okay. but sometimes we can be there to stand in the gap. Um, for instance, if a person um, is going into the hospital or has to travel or something, they can't the, the, afford the cost of a, a caregiver to come into the home for a week or two, mm -hmm. um, then certainly the MS Society would probably, if that person meets our, our you know, they'd have to Financial fill out an application. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, if that person meets those guidelines, they would definitely be eligible. But also, we have a camp um, that's once, that, that, you know, that we send people to once in, uh, in the summer, but it doesn't matter how much money you make. Anybody that uh, has a family member that has MS and they want that person wants to go to camp, they just need to get that person to camp, and it's, wow. it's in the summertime. Okay. Um, and yeah, we would we would cover the cost of that, mm -hmm. and that's like respite. So, okay. but there's other mm -hmm. things we do so that's for a break. caregivers, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So is that that camp in Michigan? Yes, it's up in the UP. Okay, it's okay. up in the UP, mm -hmm. but you know, we could cover the cost of okay. the person so, being there so the, for the whole time. So the family member who has MS can go to that camp. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do they have mm -hmm. a, a family member who doesn't have the MS? Like their caregiver, can they go too, or is just for the It's for, for the persons patient. with them. That's like I okay. said, it's respite. Okay. You know, Take a sometimes, break. Yep, sometimes okay. family members will send, will get the person up there and they'll go fishing mm -hmm. in the UP or they'll, mm -hmm. you know, okay. they'll just come back okay. home and chill. Right. Well, mm -hmm. okay, you know, <laughs> both of us got a break right now. Okay? Right, right. And, yeah. But it allows the person with MS to relax and be mm -hmm. in a controlled environment mm -hmm. where they know they care for. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, th and there's, there's also support groups out there for caregivers. You know, and then there's national networks for caregivers, uh, people with MS. So, mm -hmm. And also, like she talked about the msconnectionprogram.com, mm -hmm. which is that whole group mm -hmm. uh, online. They could all, there's, there's groups for whoever out there has a specific right. need for children. Okay. Um, you know, we have a, um, there's a, a program, a parent support uh, program for people that have children with MS. Okay. So, uh, and also there's a scholarship program for people, um, that people with MS and their children. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, now, Rose Taylor, you know, you just told us, a, a, mm -hmm. I mean, really, this is really good knowledge here and people are going to be calling in to 1-800-FIGHT-MS. So. Fight <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with 1-800-FIGHT-MS. We'll be right back. Be a fan of courage. Be a fan of empowerment. Be a fan of fun. Be a fan of the Special Olympics. Make it official. Volunteer, coach, or compete. I'm a fan. Be a fan, too. Come on, Mom. Come on. 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 Come on.
two seconds. Hang on, just stand still. Stand still, love. One second. I know. Just hold on. Go, go, go. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. And welcome back to the last half of the show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we're having an enjoyable conversation here today about you know, I mean, uh, multiple sclerosis, the Michigan chapter. And I just do want you to know that in all seriousness, uh, Rose Taylor and uh, Cheryl Rothy decided to come to s this morning to, deal to be with us to talk about things that you may have very little information about. And that is some of the resources and support groups for uh, the MS. So what we want you to do is consider going to our website, justastalkshow.org, taking a look at some of the information that they have supplied for you, as well as you can give us a call. And their number, 1-800-FIGHT-MS, is 1-800-344-4867, 1-800-344-4867. So you can always call and ask them some information as well, okay? Now, now I know okay. that if, if you are a organization, <coughs> normally you have events that take place throughout the year. So which one of you can tell us about your upcoming? I would be uh, happy to. Knew that that was your I job. I would be okay. happy <laughs> to. Okay, okay. We, have, so we have so many engagement opportunities for people with MS and their families and friends to show support mm -hmm. for each other. And we have 15 Walk MS events. Uh, throughout the state okay. that run from spring until end of fall. And then we have uh, four Bike MS events, which are weekend events. And you can ride 30, 50, 75, or 100 miles. Wow. Or as much as you can. We'll pick you up if you poop mm -hmm. out at mm -hmm. mile 20. It's mm -hmm. okay. And, um, and all of these are fundraising opportunities. And uh, it's because of all these fundraising opportunities that we're able to provide so many um, resources mm -hmm. and support and research for people with MS. Okay, okay. So they start in the spring. So what, what month is the spring? March. March. March, March through the end of September okay. and we have another one. Um, it's called Muckfest MS okay. and that'll take place in the summer. All right, all right. Well, we got to get that calendar events up on our website yes. so that people can take a look at it and then zip over to you. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sitting here with a group of wonderful brochures uh, living with Multiple sclerosis. Okay, so if someone wants to call you and say, I need some information, can you send me something? Absolutely. What would they get out of this book here, Living with Multiple Sclerosis? Well, that book is specifically, they target people that are newly diagnosed with MS. Mm -hmm. And it, it gives you a really good overview of what it is and, um, you know, what you can expect. And it's a great resource. Also, um, I just got to say, anybody that wants it, that has a family member with them, that's what really appreciate having that as well. Family okay. member, close friend. So this is like when they first diagnose and finding out that they have right. MS. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, right. Okay. And then we have vitamins, minerals, and herbs in MS. Really? Okay. So I mean, tell us. We just have vitamins and minerals. Well, basically, we're just help, trying to get people to understand that um, there are some things that you can do to help complement your MS. Mm -hmm. For instance, just like um, it's, it's one, it falls in the wellness category, just like we encourage people to do exercise and that kind of stuff. We want them to know that there's some things they can do to, to maintain their health. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. especially with their diet. Right, absolutely. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. A guide for caregivers? Oh, the Caregivers um, booklet. It's just about um, resources that are available that target people that take care of folks with MS. And uh, again, there are great resources that are listed in that, in that binder, in that mm -hmm. book there. Um, and I just encourage people to take advantage of it. Okay. All right. Because caregivers feel like, you know, I have no one to turn to. I have no support. Mm -hmm. I got to do this all by myself. Right. And, you know, and I don't care what organization it is. Everybody should have caregivers. Everybody should have a caregiver manual or a support group because no matter what you're doing, taking care of an elderly loved one, taking care of a disabled child, you need to learn some things, know some things, and share some things all at mm -hmm. the same time. And I'm, I'm an advocate for that because I'm a caregiver myself and I understand that some days you just mm -hmm. feel like, okay, mm -hmm. can an angel come in the door? Mm -hmm. Okay, can an angel come in there? Mm -hmm. And you know, and I was impressed with this last booklet that I'm going to hold up, uh, Keep Him Smiling. And I did not know that because what's the earliest age a child would be diagnosed with MS? Well, for the most part, you know, 
kids can be diagnosed. Kids get MS also. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we've known of a child as young as like 18 months. Wow. Um, and certainly here in Michigan, we, you know, we've definitely been in touch with people that were three years old, were diagnosed as early as two and three years old. Mm -hmm. But we've heard from other researchers in different sure. parts of the country that they've been um, diagnosed as, as young as 18 mm -hmm. months. Okay. But so keep in mind that this Keep Smiling book, mm -hmm. um, it really is talking, up. anyway, it caters to the children. It helps them understand what the disease is. And it's fun. And they get it. It comes directly to them. Um, just like uh, the Momentum magazine comes directly to people with their masks, mm -hmm. Keep Smiling goes directly to the children. There's, you know, you, there's, it's, it's an activity book. Okay. Like the Highlight magazine back in the day. I, she said back in the mm -hmm. day. Okay, and she <laughs> mean back in the day. <laughs> then that's telling on you. Okay, 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 okay. And this is good. So children have a, a chance to understand what mm -hmm. their their condition is. Okay, 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 that's wonderful. That is yeah. really great. Wow, okay. You, you ladies shared a lot of information with us today, and truly, uh, I'm sure our viewers will appreciate learning, you know, firsthand uh, from both of you, um, being in the marketing development, and, and Cheryl, knowing that you have the condition yourself, mm -hmm. but you have it under control, mm -hmm. okay? And that's an um, a honor to see someone who says, you know what, if you take on the right attitude, you know, you can work, you can work through it yes. and work with it and you'll just be Thank fine. You. Okay, so you're a role model. Okay, thank you. Reference to that. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Rose, you know, it's always a pleasure to see you. Okay, it's because great. this time around, Rose, we're learning things about MS uh, in in the time frame where it's really, you know, taking notice with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And when you talk to people, you say, "Well, are you with the agency or have you gotten any services?" They don't know. Mm -hmm. They don't know. They don't have a clue. Yeah. You know, and they mm -hmm. said, no, you know, my doctor. And I'm like, well, does the doctor know about the MS Society yeah. or whatever? So does doctors really know about the MS Society or how does, it, how does it, the word get out? Well, certainly the doctors should know about the MS Society. We are doing everything we can to make sure that they know about the MS Society. Um, but we encourage if there's any person out there, if there's any physician out there that does not know, we would be more than happy to connect with them. And we want to partner with the doctors. We want to make sure that they have all the resources and the latest information, that they can connect their patients or their people that they have with multiple sclerosis directly to us. Because there's so much information that they'd be missing mm -hmm. out on if they did not connect with That's us. That's true. We're all about um, ending MS and changing the lives of people with MS every day. Right. And what about the physical therapy places? Are you guys got relationships with, um, you know, <clears throat> not necessarily gyms, but places that do physical therapy? Or is that something in the future you would look at? Absolutely. We have connections to, um, we have a database. And when people call that 800 number, they get a, a navigator who connects them to physicians that have specialty in MS, to um, um, whether they're PT, OT folks, okay. you know, special um, mental mm -hmm. health people. But yes, we have, what we'd like to do is to have more partnerships with more um, agencies, especially physical rehab, uh, people that offer physical rehab. Okay, okay. And, and you know, so, and that would be a, a gym, just to have all those uh, uh, services connected together. And it, to me, that's what we do here at Just As. We try to connect everyone together and, and mm -hmm. you know, and put the, all of us in the same fruit bowl, okay? And I say mm -hmm. fruit bowl because there's a lot of varieties. So, mm -hmm. you know, and, and everything's good about the fruit bowl. But we want to make sure that people can find services. We want to make sure people are educated about right. conditions, you know? If you, in the name of the show, Just Ask, uh, derived from the fact that people always want to know about something but don't know how to ask. Mm -hmm. So just ask. And when you ask, then, you know, agencies like yourself be having a wealth of information oh, to tell yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, mm -hmm. so I want to thank you both for, for coming out, truly. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for having all right, us. All right. Thank you. And, uh, send us some information. Keep okay. us posted. Okay. okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as usual, you know, I, I do my best to get the word out to you about whoever and whatever. And today, the National uh, Multiple Sclerosis Society, the Michigan chapter, was who, was who was our guest today, has given out so much information. I hope that you take the opportunity to give them a call at that MS 1-800 uh, fight MS number, and in conversion, I'm going to help you out, 1-800-344-4867. Okay. okay. <clears throat> but just to say, uh, give us a call here, 1-800-323-5336. Uh, uh, Twitter, Just As Talk Show, hashtag. And you know the website, justastalkshow.org. And you can always just direct your questions to me. I'd love to answer questions, okay? But you know who I am. I'm your host, Marsha Florence. And what do I always say? If you know someone with a disability or if you just have a general question, don't be afraid to ask. Just ask. I'm your host. Thank you.